Hi, this is Rich Jackson. Uh, we're in my living room. Uh, we're now looking at um, my primary two-channel speakers, uh, which are teal 3.7s. Um, we're going to scan over to my audio gear. Um, as you can see on top, I have a turntable, which is a new series project. Um, I have a Mac Mini. Uh, behind the Mac Mini, I have a dock where I store all my music. I have a squeeze box. I have a Wadia dock. And on the dock, I have an iPod that um, contains my entire collection uh, ripped at Apple Lossless. Today, we're going to rip a CD into a digital format. Um, and the vehicle that I use for that is iTunes. Um, I'm using the Mac in its native uh, Mac operating system. I have other Macs in the house that um, I actually run Windows uh, on the boot camp partition. So I'm going to stabilize this a little bit. I just received a new CD uh, from Joan Osborne, and I was just listening to it through my PS Audio DAC. What I'm going to do is insert it into my Mac Mini. And I'm going to close this window, which is my Bryston window, for my Bryston BDP-1 digital player. And In a second, the CD will speed up. It's now showed up on the desktop right here. And it's opened up iTunes. And I'm going to actually don't have to do anything because as a default, I rip CDs that I insert into the computer. And then, um, because of limited storage on my Mac Mini, I use a two terabyte drive in the rear that contains my master music. I also have then a secondary drive that I have dedicated right here to my Bryston digital player that will read content off any USB device. So um, while this is ripping, I'll give you an idea of the rest of my gear. Um, on the bottom left is my main power amplifier, which is a Bryston 14B. Above that, I have a Parasound P3 preamp. Above that, I have a Bryston DAC. Above that, I have a very a unique, unique piece of equipment called the Bryston Digital Player, the BDP-1. On top of that, I have an OPPO Digital CD player. And when I use the CD player, I, I'm, I'll put um, a spit of digital output, which is then decoded by my Bryston DAC. And let me straighten that guy up. And it's probably going to take about five, well, less than five minutes, probably about three minutes for this CD to rip. And I'll get back to the top here. Um, and when it's done ripping, we'll come back and continue the tutorial because uh, once I rip it, then I need to get the content over to my Bryston digital player as one of the options. Or if I just want to use iTunes, and when I use iTunes, I use a program called Pure Music uh, that improves the sound quality. But the best results uh, will be coming uh, from using my Bryston digital player.